Before going into the troubleshooting, make sure that the OTG adapter is functioning properly. Even if the cable has worked before, adapters and cables can go faulty. Try out the adapter or the cable on other devices and see if they are working. If they are not, then you need another OTG adapter. Another thing you can try before going into the advanced troubleshooting is to restart your phone. As trivial as it sounds, a simple restart can do wonders. If the OTG still doesn't show up, go to Settings, Apps, find the file manager app you are using with your OTG adapter, go to Permissions and see if it has the required permissions to read and manage your files. If it has the required permissions, then go to Storage and press Clear Cache. Now see if it has solved your problem. If it didn't, then you can press also to clear data. If the OTG still doesn't show up, then go to settings, scroll all the way down and go to developer options. If you don't have that, then go to the about phone section, software information and keep on pressing on the build number. Enter your password and now the developer options will appear at the bottom of the settings menu. In the developer options, scroll down to default USB configuration, select it and choose file transfer. Now try connecting your OTG and see if the problem is fixed. If not, go back to the developer options and make sure that USB debugging is switched on. What you can also try is to go to your phone app and type this number. Your phone should be on MTP. After that, click OK to save. Also make sure that the ports on both the adapter and on your phone aren't dirty. If they are, you can clean them with some compressed air or some isopropyl alcohol on a cotton swab. But before cleaning, I suggest you to watch some tutorials on how to do it, as cleaning them wrong can damage your device. I hope this video helped.